We begin with the United States and Israel tonight at odds over what next in the war in Gaza as civilian casualties mount. The U.S. call for a humanitarian pause getting a firm thumbs down from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who told Secretary of State Antony Blinken, we are continuing full force, appearing to reject Secretary Blinken's plea to do more to protect Palestinian civilians. Israel's government pinning any kind of a pause to the release of hostages held by Hamas. But the unsettling images of civilian casualties and damaged hospitals in Gaza continue to drive widespread condemnation of Israel's siege. In its defense, Israel providing pictures of Hamas tunnels it says it discovered, accusing Hamas of hiding its terror network beneath civilian areas. Tonight, Israeli troops are engaged in close quarters combat with Hamas fighters as more Americans are allowed to leave the war zone. NBC's Raf Sanchez is there. Tonight, as Israeli forces targeting Hamas tighten their grip around Gaza City, tensions between the U.S. and Israel over the next phase of the war. We need to do more to protect Palestinian civilians. Secretary of State Antony Blinken meeting Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Tel Aviv, telling him the U.S. supports Israel's mission to topple Hamas after the October 7th terror attack that killed 1,400 Israelis. It is striking and in some ways shocking that the brutality of the slaughter has receded so quickly in the memories of so many, but not in Israel and not in America. But also saying the U.S. supports a humanitarian pause to try to get more aid into Gaza and get hostages held by Hamas out. Each of these efforts would be facilitated by humanitarian pauses. But just minutes later, Netanyahu saying no pause in the fighting until Hamas first releases its 240 hostages. I made it clear we're going full steam ahead, he says. For so many Palestinian families in Gaza, any pause will come too late. Our camera crew followed rescuers to the site of what witnesses believe was an Israeli strike in southern Gaza today, an area Israel says is supposed to be safe for civilians fleeing the north. But it wasn't safe for 10-year-old Sama, pulled out from under the rubble. There's nothing her father, Thar, can do but wipe her face. She wanted to be like other kids, he says. He carries her into the emergency room. This exhausted doctor needs only a moment to pronounce her dead. Thar's wife and four other children are missing under the wreckage. Israel's military did not directly respond to our question about the blast. Israel struck this ambulance near the Al-Shifa hospital tonight, saying it was being used by a terror cell. Israel has previously claimed there's a secret Hamas command center beneath the hospital. The Hamas-run health ministry says over a dozen people were killed. While in Lebanon, the leader of Iranian-backed Hezbollah breaking his silence, saying he doesn't want a regional war, but threatening more action against Israel in coming days. And Raf, we know Americans are among the hostages being held by Hamas, and now U.S. aircraft are reported to be involved in the search. That's right, Lester. The Pentagon saying today that American reconnaissance drones are flying over Gaza as part of the search for the hostages. But the U.S. says these drones are not armed and they're not taking part in the strikes. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.